Ah, I'm so excited to eat this peanut butter sandwich. It's just peanut butter and it's going to be so good. Man, life is pretty great, but it's just another blessing. What are you doing? You were staring at the clock. Why? You want time to go by faster? Okay, so listen. It was freshman year and I was in physics class. Fifth period. Conceptual physics. Sorry, Mr. Hay. I found myself staring at the clock above the door, wondering when the class was going to end. I don't even like physics and there's nothing conceptual about this. Bored. But in that moment, I had an epiphany. I'm sitting here wanting time to pass, hoping it would go by faster. And see, the problem with that is once fifth period is over, we wait for sixth period to end, then seventh, and then eighth. End of the day. Boo. Except we get up tomorrow and do it all over again. Boo. We hate Mondays, which is a problem, because then you hate one seventh of your life. So we wish for Tuesday, then Wednesday. Yay, hump day. But what exactly are we getting over? Stop focusing on time, or you only get older. Then we rush for Thursday to become Friday, because everybody loves Friday. Pause. Actually, no one does. We love the idea of Friday because it's the end of the week, and the beginning of the weekend. So we're celebrating a day not for what it is, but for what it isn't. Allowing beautiful moments to pass us by. Potential memories flying by. Even though we've anticipated the weekend, half the time we say we're bored. What are you waiting for? Something amazing? It's called life. Never be bored. There is life waiting to be living. After our two days, back into our same cycle the next week, and the next, and the next, pretty vapid. It's not only weeks, but years too. We want freshman year to end so we can be one grade higher. But when we become sophomores, we realize nothing is more irrelevant than a sophomore. No offense, sophomores. Being a junior and upperclassman is briefly amusing, but really we just want to be seniors, which we celebrate for a week maybe a month, until everybody just can't wait to get out of here. Instead of enjoying what we have worked 12 years for, we start counting down until it's over. New Year's. Occupying our minds with thoughts of the future instead of breathing in the present. Breathe it, smell it, taste it, see it, hear it. Otherwise, you continue the cycle. Then you find a job you don't really want, but it pays good. You're 35 sitting in your office wondering how you got here. Wishing you could be a senior again. Spirit Week sporting events are just hanging out in the parking lot with a friend. Everything will be over eventually, so instead of wishing it to end sooner, slow down and absorb it. You should be amazed perpetually. Life can be pretty wonderful, but it's still a matter of perspective. It's a miracle, that's my case, I rest it. I have too many sights to see, things to do, and thoughts to think, to be wasting my time staring at a clock. Actually, if I'm gonna walk back, let me use a modern lens. Action! <laughs> 